Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. And today we have a GeoProtec uh, GS2000 inverter. The GS2000 means it's a, the uh, 2 kilowatt model. And if we have a look at the screen on this one, it's coming up with... Press a bit harder. Yeah. Now it goes through the menu. But it's coming up with isolation fault. And you can see the red fault light on, on the inverter. Um, normally if the system was working the fault light wouldn't be on and the power on light would be on so you can see that now it just came up with isolation fault there. So isolation fault with a geoprotec inverter usually means that there's a problem on the on the DC side, so on the solar panel side of the system and it might it can possibly be something like moisture getting into the panels or the system somewhere. Um, we've even seen before uh, things like uh, possums chewing into cables and stuff like that. But in this case here, the uh, isolation fault has, uh, well, we've, uh, we've identified that the problem is not on the solar panel side at all. So it's actually an internal problem with the inverter. So um, what you can always try and do with this type of error is try and reboot the system. It's always important that you follow the shutdown procedure, which should be something like this. Turn off the solar supply main switch, which is that's located in your switchboard or the inverter AC isolator. In this case, we've got an inverter AC isolator. So we just uh, have that off there. Then turn off the PV array DC isolator located at the inverter. So that's the one on the other side here. So we just throw that one off and the screen goes completely blank. So it's all uh, totally dead there. So now we'll just try and restart the system. The restart procedure is nowhere near as important as the uh, shutdown procedure. So we just turn everything back on. So the DC on and the AC on. And we let the system try and start off. Coming up with grid fault there at the moment, but then it's gone back to that isolation fault. So you see it's pretty much immediately gone back to that. So if your um, geoprotec inverter is having an isolation fault issue like this, and uh, you're on the Gold Coast of South East Queensland, look, get in contact with Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Pretty much uh, wherever you are, you are going to need to talk to a local solar accredited electrician because they are going to come out, have to come out, check your system out, and make sure it's not the not a problem on the solar panel side. That it is actually a problem on the inverter, and uh, you yeah, obviously find the find the root cause of the fault and sort out that issue. Look, if you've got a, a geoprotec inverter, like I said, Golco Solar can certainly help. If you're around the uh, southeast Queensland area, don't hesitate to get in contact with us. And look, I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you.